what's up guys welcome back to the channel it is a wonderful day out again today in Clarksville Tennessee so today what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be assessing why the heck things are happening since we put the backup camera and the LEDs in there in the shit box we are trying to figure out why right now I mean I'll recreate it for you right now the problem is my horn doesn't work when I lock the doors and sometimes they lock and unlock when I twist the key when I play my stereo and the bass hits my lights up in the top my dome light just kind of flashes on and off sometimes um yeah and my windows don't go down or up could be some fuses I don't know I'm kind of squinting sorry but we don't really know exactly what's going on so we're gonna move the truck out of the way move the ship box up here and try to kind of figure out what's going on since we do have a nice clean garage and we have just our toolbox over there it's a beer drinking kind of day so we're just gonna kind of hit it and see what the fuck is going on could like I said could be just fuses could be something else I don't know we're gonna investigate and we're gonna take y'all with us on the, the journey of the electrical gremlins of the VW I haven't had any issues with this car since before as far as the windows the horn never worked because the clock spring the steering wheels jacked up but when I locked the doors I never had any issues with them unlocking again or anything like that so it could be relays fuses I don't know we're gonna figure it out <laughs> So right now the problem is we have ignition power and it doesn't matter if it's running or not the radio turns off and on which I've always had issues with that as far as having to hold the button and turn it on and off the unlock switches I think that might just be because the doors are open, but no windows. So the gas cap works, but the hatch doesn't. But the first thing we're going to check is a bunch of fuses. I'll show you guys what happens when I close the doors and use the key to lock the vehicle. Usually the horn will beep. And... see and then it locks unlock and then it unlocks again and then it's good the second time the lock and unlock works there the hatch does not so we get to use the key to unlock the hatch no idea why it's doing that Again, we're just going to check some fuses and see how many of those fuckers are blown. It's probably got something to do with the fact that... Well, let's see if all the lights work, you know? Matter of fact, that's probably a good indication. We'll start her up. <laughs> Alright, headlights are on. We got a headlight... A headlight. Let's try the old high beams. Blinkers seem to be going. That blinker over there works. This blinker over here works. But even with the fuse blown for that light, it does work. Alright, so I'm going to say all the blinkers work. Let's check the high beams real quick. High beams are both on. Okay. It's got to be some, some sort of short happening. Alright, well, I guess we'll go from there. So far, what we figured out is the fuse that's always blown for this taillight is the only one that's blown so far. I've pulled pretty much everything I can 
see but if you want to look at this thing real quick it tells you like absolutely no information just symbols and which number is what so these this is all the symbols and the numbers and then up here in the corner and left it tells you which number is what symbol so that tells me absolutely nothing literally it just says use your manual which we shipped already so I'm gonna throw this damn fuse out I've been having issues with it kind of shorting as soon as I shove another one in there it'll just blow it immediately so there's something going on we'll short the ground somewhere I feel like but we're gonna continue investigating we're gonna look it up on the phone and find the fuse card like explanation of what the symbols all mean since we have dirt on the GoPro since we don't have the manual for it here and we'll get back to you and see what we got all right so we figured something out the fuse for the central locking system and the dome lights was blown and apparently when these subs hit it would legit like connect the fuse I don't know if y'all be able to hear it. Let me try to... You can hear a little rattling noise, hopefully. It was just connecting it enough to where the dome lights would flicker when the subs hit. Because it was just rattling it. So we replaced the fuse. All the windows and everything seem to be working now. Except here's another reason that something is fucky. Well, okay, it was... It was making a noise. So we're gonna pop that off of there and take those lights out of there. Small flat tip ought to work to pop it out. We're gonna... What the hell? There's some damn spider floating around in the middle of the air or something. Oh, come on now. It's gonna be hard to do with one hand. Maybe it's this side. Nope. I'll put y'all right here. Y'all be able to see. Okay, so see that? This switch is busted. This one seems to work, but we're just going to go ahead and take both of these guys out of there. So we still have a dome light for when the doors open, but at least we won't have, because I think whatever's up in there rattling around is causing, you know, a power fluctuation and it's shorting it out in the fuse box which is what it's supposed to do it's supposed to short that fuse and blow it but I don't I don't really know what else it could possibly be yeah I don't know but the windows work the I mean everything works automatic down automatic up automatic down automatic up everything seems to be working fine now just replace that one fuse in the fuse panel and well, let's see what happens when we try to lock the door we'll put this thing back on there just in case this will probably be the only piece that I save out of this whole controller because this whole controller is going to be all these pieces are going to be black here eventually yeah Ain't that some bullshit. <clears throat> so. I think we gotta shut the hatch. There it is. Alrighty, well. We're gonna move the car back down there on the road. And put this fuse panel cover back on. Here. 
Alrighty, so it seems like everything's gonna be working at this point. I, guess, but I always keep extra fuses in here, so if anything happens, you got a whole baggie in, in the car all the time because it's a VW, so that's what you gotta do. Alright, well, keep that there. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the buttons, hit the notifications, and we'll see y'all later.